Hello everybody, welcome to my new channel JS Lab. I will be uploading a series of videos related to R programming. Before moving to R programming, okay, we will just have an overview about the R programming and also a short history of its development. We will move on to the first video, introduction to R programming and a small history of R programming. So R is a programming language and it's a free software. It's, it offers a free software environment. The statistical computing and graphics of the R is supported by R Foundation for Statistical Computing. The R language is widely used among statisticians and data miners for developing statistical softwares and data analysis. It is widely used. And as of October 2020, R, R programming ranks 9th in the TOB index. It's a measure of popularity of programming languages. You can see the um, details in the website given. The official R software environment is written primarily in C, Fortran and R itself. It is freely available under the GNU, Gen General Public License. R is an implementation of S programming. So S programming was first developed. There were some modifications. That's how R is formed, R programming combined with lexical scoping semantics okay these details will be covered in the later videos this s programming was created by john chambers in 1976 while at bell labs there are some important differences but much of the code written for s runs unaltered r was created by ross ihaka and robert gentleman at the University of Auckland, New Zealand and is developed by the R Development Core Team. R and its libraries implement a wide variety of statistical, statistical and graphical techniques including linear and nonlinear modeling, classical statistical test, time series analysis, classification, clustering, etc. That means what all required for data analysis. R is highly extensible through the use of user submitted packages for specific functions or specific areas of study. So in R, there are many packages and modules. So if you are coming with a new method, okay, you can also submit a package. Okay, that will be covered in the in a later stage of this um, videos. And this is an overview of the timeline. Okay, 1991. It is created in New Zealand. R was created in New Zealand by Ross Hihaka and Robert Gentleman. Their experience in developing R is published in 1996 JCGS paper. 1993, the first announcement of R to the public was made. 1995, they convinced to use the GNU general public license to make R a free software. 1996, a public mailing list is created. It is R Help and R Devil. The R core group is formed in 1997. The core group controls the source code for R. In 2000, the R version 1.0.0 is released. In 2020, October, the version 4.0.3 is released. That is when this video is created. Now, with free software, okay, you are granted to do these things. That means first one is the freedom to run the program for any purpose. The freedom to study how the program works and adapt to your needs. The freedom to redistribute copies so you can help your neighbor. The freedom to improve the program and release your improvements to the public so that the whole community benefits. There is a strong community for R. Okay, that also we will be seeing in the later videos. So these are the things um, you can do with a free software. These are some examples of the companies using R. Okay. Facebook, Google, Twitter, Microsoft, Uber, Airbnb, 
ഐ ബി എം എ എൻ സെറ്റ് സോ യു ക്യാൻ സി യു ക്യാൻ വ്യൂ ദ മോർ ഡീറ്റെയിൽസ് ഇൻ ദ ലിങ്ക് ഗിവൺ ബിലോ വാട്ട് ആർ ദ സ്ട്രെങ്ത്സ് ഓഫ് ആർ പ്രോഗ്രാമിംഗ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഫ്രീ ആൻഡ് ഓപ്പൺ സോഴ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് എ മെയിൻ തിങ് ഇറ്റ്സ് റൺ ഓൺ ഓൾമോസ്റ്റ് എനി സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ് കമ്പ്യൂട്ടിംഗ് പ്ലാറ്റ്ഫോം ഓർ ഓയസ് Windows, Mac, Linux, Implementation of High-End Statistical Methods, Frequent Releases. So, if you go to their site, that will be discussed in the next video, cran.r.org. You can see the list of releases. It is quite lean as far as software goes. Functionality is divided into modular packages. So, the meaning is that it is not a bulk software in the means you are the memory will be very less for first you install the base version of the r so once you need one one functionality you need to download the particular package and use it it is but if you are going for a if you are familiar with matlab you can see that you need to download a huge amount of data and uh, install okay it is different from that one. graphics capabilities very soft is very sophisticated and better than most of the statistical packages it has a very active and vibrant user community r help and r devel mailing list and stack overflow so if you want any help there is a large community to help you okay you can post your uh, doubts etc what are the weakness it is little built in support for dynamic or 3d graphics but there are with the coming versions they are developing its functionality is based on consumer demand and user contributions so the meaning is that uh, if you want something new okay either you can develop it yourself or you can take the help of the community others that's why i return here if no one feels like implementing your favorite method then it's your job to make that and you can publish your package in the website itself objects must generally be stored in physical memory like uh, the last point is it is not a solution for all problems that is a weakness for all the programming languages if you have any queries please comment below the video And for more videos please like share and subscribe thank you